welcome back everybody. Today, Paul Cicala joins us in the kitchen and we are making cicaladas, right? Cicaladas, okay? okay. You've obviously heard of what a michelada is. Sure. In the border southwest, we call it micheladas, but I call mine cicaladas because they're alcohol free and I throw a few ingredients. Okay. But uh, I know in the best interest of time, we've already cut up a few things. You know, I know normally, and if you can kind of mock what I'm doing, if you want I to will. try to do it as we go, uh, you take a little bit of lime here. Just on the top, or lemon, but I like lime better, but I do add a little bit of lemon. I know sometimes if you get these uh, micheladas, or in this case, cicaladas at, uh, at bars, mm, then, uh, okay, you're gonna wanna dip that in, sorry. <laughs> and then you'll add a little bit here, and I'm gonna try to do this real fast, because sometimes, uh, you know, when we're, these things take time. But uh, usually, uh, you know, these are, these are fun around Christmas, but to tell you the truth, people can have them any time. And oh, like sure, I said, yeah. A lot of people like them with beers. I like them alcohol free because you don't necessarily need that alcohol. Here you go. Um, it still tastes just as good. And uh, I know a lot of people will probably argue with that. But uh, anyway. Oh boy, I'm not sure yeah, how good yeah, I'm going to be with this. If you can't boy. get it, it's all right. It's the thought that counts. And usually I'm trying to, before we add all the main ingredients, which includes clamato, we want to add a little bit of uh, olive juice. Just come on over, Matt. Bit. Yeah, come on over, Matt. Try some of this. As a matter of fact, Matt's nickname, El Wapo. See, the thing is, normally you can <laughs> buy, I'm you can confused. salt the Why rim. I'm confused. What about not micheladas? Um, because it's got my own little twist to it. That's oh, right. cicala. Yeah. Oh, yeah Are you one. for real good right one. now? Good one. No, no. All right. So I add a little bit of soy sauce as well. I mean, I, none of this is, 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 it's not like we're creating, you know, what can I do, some Paul? sort of degree. Um, you can drink some afterwards. But, okay. Uh, or here, you can add a little bit of this soy sauce, soy sauce? here. How yeah, much? exactly. I got some okay. Worcester sauce here. Just add a, a, a dab. Okay. A dab would be fine. And of course, I like to add to mine a few. You can cut these up, as a matter of fact. Some Gee, thanks. avocado. <laughs> you asked me what you wanted to do. Okay. And like I said, a lot of times people will use beers. I don't use beers. I use seltzer water. In this case, lime seltzer because it uh, adds that lime. You want, we'll add that at the end here. Are you guys following all this? Yeah. That's a little confusing, Paul. It is confusing, you but if you. For us? Uh, I will. I will. Yeah, and I kind of have it out of order. Yeah, go for it. The Just recipe the can be seen on kvoa.com. And the thing is, people know micheladas in other parts. If you go to other parts of the border southwest, sometimes they call them chavelas. And, you know, in Mexico City, they call them ojo rojos or something like that. I mean, they have these different oh. names. But basically, oh. put it in, my friend. It's clamato, sometimes beer, but in my case, uh, soda water. What do you need? Um, I need this. Yeah. And wow, we good. need to take this to commercial. And if you we want also the throw some beef jerky in it as well. It's really good. But not alcohol. That's what I prefer. <laughs> if you want the recipe, you Cheers. can find it on our website, kvoa.com. We'll be right back. Yeah, that was bad.